Hi there, I'm Cullen from CullensABCs.com and I have an art project idea for you. It's making an alligator and it's actually making the skin on the alligator. Now you could use any kind of animal really with that bumpy kind of skin. It could be a snake or somebody emailed me a little while ago and wanted an idea to make an eel and so I gave them this idea. Um, so go ahead and cut out a shape um, a snake or a gator or whatever you want to use and use white construction paper it seems to work the best um, you could use printer paper if you'd like but that construction paper is really good it really soaks up the watercolor and the rock salt that we're going to use so once you have your gator cut out um, now this is this could be a messy project so you may want to do it outside if you have an area you can go outside to. If not, something that I like to use is just a mat um, that you could use for Play-Doh. You know, any kind of vinyl mat works great because then you can put the project down and then you can wipe it off when you're done. You can also line your table with um, newspaper, anything like that. So you have your vinyl mat or your newspaper or whatever you're using or you're outside and you have your gator. Go ahead and put your gator on top of that and then what you'll need is some watercolor um, in a little shallow dish like this. Just a little bit. You don't need a, a lot of um, watercolor in here. And what I used is just um, the food coloring that you can buy. Just a couple drops and then add some water to it. If you don't add the water to it, what will happen is when you put it on the gator, when your child paints it on top of the gator, it will just soak into the um, paper and we want it to stay a little bit wet. Okay, so they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna paint the gator, or the snake, or whatever you have, and then while it's still wet, they're going to put rock salt on top of it. And then when it dries later, you can take off the rock salt and it leaves um, that print behind. It's super cool. So just rock salt that you'd find at the grocery store, just a box of it, and you don't really even need that much because it depends on how big your cutout is, okay? So they're just gonna paint it, I'll show you. Just gonna paint it a little bit, and you won't see the print right away. What you'll have to do is you'll have to put it outside for it to dry. Once it dries, then they wipe off the rock salt, and it should have left a print behind on the gator. So it's kind of hard to show you here, but um, you get an idea. You're gonna paint. They're gonna paint it, and then they're going to put on the rock salt, and just keep painting it and putting on more and more rock salt. The more they put on, the more of a print that will be left behind. So here I painted it, and then put the rock salt on top of that while it's still wet. And then when they brush it off later, then it'll leave this really cool print behind. It's super fun. I hope you enjoy this idea. Bye.